Hello, YouTube. It's Unger to the Max here. A salute to you. And yes, I just uploaded a video, but guess what? I said in the first video that I'm probably going to do a string of videos. So, get ready. And this is video number two. So, as I said in my very recent video, like a couple seconds ago, I am a huge Chicago Cubs fan. However, there, even though the Cubs' biggest rival is arguably the St. Louis Cardinals, I would love to go to a St. Louis Cardinals game at Bush Stadium, whether that's against the Cubs or not. If it's against the Cubs, obviously, um, I would root for the Cubs. But if they aren't playing the Cubs, no, I still couldn't root for the Cardinals. But I would love to go there just as a baseball fan. Now, I've been in enemy territory three times. When First time was when my sister and I went to Michigan against Ohio State. I was wearing Michigan colors because I was, was went to that game with my sister and she went to the University of Michigan. Uh, the Wolverines got absolutely smashed in that game. Their defense didn't even show up. Then again, neither did the offense. Anyways, that's not my point. My point is, even though Michigan-Ohio State is a very fierce rivalry, despite wearing um, maize and blue, or blue and yellow, whatever you want to call it, I was still able to have very pleasant and good conversations with Ohio State fans on the main concourse. It never got out of hand, like, oh, we need to call the security, or we need to call the police. No, it never got to that point. I was able to have, like I said, I was able to have very pleasant, normal conversations with people. And it was great. That's something I love to do is um, talk with other team's fans. Something else I like to do quickly before I, let me just go a little off topic, is um, when I was at Browns games last season, I kept a list going on my phone every week of what other team's fans I would see. Because, like, when the Browns were playing the Titans, for example, of course I saw Titans fans, but I, I saw other fans, like a Steelers fan or a Packers fan, Chargers fan, Dolphins fan, throughout the season, not just against the Titans. And I'm like, wait, what? You're... You're wearing Buffalo Bill stuff to Seahawks at Browns. What? Come, come again? That to me that that's one of those obscure topics that I like to talk about and discuss on the on the channel like this. So anyway, getting back to the main topic. Um my next stop of enemy territory was when my dad and I went to Pittsburgh to see the Browns play the Steelers. And we were wearing Browns clothes. This was week 10 of 2015. Steelers absolutely, absolutely smashed the Browns. But then again, Cleveland hasn't beaten Pittsburgh into, in Pittsburgh since 2003. That, let me say that again. The Cleveland Browns have not beaten the Pittsburgh Steelers at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, since 2003. And the Browns have only beaten the Steelers twice since 2013. Not a rivalry. I stand by that statement. Anyway, so yeah, week 10, 2015, my dad and I decided to drive those two hours from Cleveland, Ohio, to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to see Brown Steelers at Heinz Field. And once again, I was able to have very pleasant and good conversations with Steelers fans. It was amazing. I wasn't getting any type of hostility. I wasn't getting any type of, you know, uh, nobody was yelling cuss words or anything at me. Mostly because the Ste Browns have been the Steelers doormat for years. But still... 
Like, I was getting nothing. And secondly with this, as you can see, when I go to an arena or a stadium, I like to get some piece of memorabilia. Although I haven't been to a Boston Celtics game yet, I did get, I got this poster when I went to the team store for TD Bank North Garden. And I haven't been to a Pirates game yet, but I got this flag just outside of PNC Park. And the 76ers pennant, I got that when I went to a 76ers game. They beat the Charlotte Hornets. And I got the Warriors pennant back there when I saw them play the San Antonio Spurs in 2014. Which was the year the Spurs won the title. But, yeah. Um, so, I wanted to buy something Pittsburgh Steelers. I wanted to buy, like, a terrible towel or something. My dad wouldn't let me. Oh, well. I mean, we're talking about going to Browns, Steelers, and Pittsburgh this season. If the NFL season happens, that is. So, if that happens, I would love to get something Steelers. Just because I like to get some piece of memorabilia from stadiums or arenas that I go to, like I said. Now, my third uh, time with enemy territory, well, it wasn't really enemy territory, actually. But anyways, um, it was the reverse. Steelers, Browns, at high, or in Cleveland. It was just last season, actually. Thursday Night Football. You know, the game where Miles Garrett decided to be a jackass and slam his helmet on uh, Mason Rudolph's head and get suspended indefinitely. Yeah, that game. So, I was having a good com Even though I was in Browns gear, I found the Steelers fan, and we were having a good, regular conversation. So, I love rivalries. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's fun with rivalries when the two when there is a genuine dislike between the two teams, but you as the fans can still have good regular conversations like I did. So that's good. Wrap it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, punch that like button like a UFC fire and punch that subscribe button. Let's get to 300 subscribers.